This tutorial demonstrates how to create the JavaFX puzzlers visually with Databox. Puzzler 1, slider and text. So we'll go ahead and start by launching Databox. And this brings up the database connection panel configured for our puzzlers database. And we'll connect to that and this will bring up a Databox window for that database with a default table in it that we can use to attach table documents to. So we'll go ahead and create a new table document and we'll call this Puzzler1 and we'll leave it as a standard form. This brings up a new document inside the uh, Databox Editor window. And we go ahead, and go ahead and drag in a slider and make it a little wider and configure it to be 360 for 360 degrees. And let's go ahead and scale it up some to make it easier to click on. Now we can go ahead and add our text field. So we'll go ahead and drag out a text box and put in a label as a placeholder. And we'll configure the text to be a little bigger and bold and centered horizontally. And we'll put a blue text color on it. And in the text inspector we'll go ahead and center it vertically as well. Now we'll go ahead and add a binder for our static data for the rotation. So we'll create a new binder and currently it has no properties so we'll go ahead and add a property and call this rotation and reconfigure that to be a number. Now with that binder selected we'll go to the keys panel and we'll just drag and drop in the rotation into the slider and into our text. And we'll select the text and go to the bind inspector. Instead of just the rotation, we'll go ahead and put in an expression that will also give us the label. Rotation plus the attribute name. Then we'll also bind to the roll aspect of that shape. And we'll bind this also to the default binder rotation attribute. So just with that we can save this to the database and click preview in browser and this will bring up our browser which itself connects to the database. It will load the applet and then with the applet loaded we can simply use the slider to rotate our text field. Puzzler 2 Animation Along a Path for our second puzzler, we'll go ahead and add another table document. This one we'll label Puzzler2. Select OK. We get another document. We'll select the pencil tool. And we'll go ahead and drag out a figure 8. Now we'll drag and drop in a car picture. And we'll select the 2. And we'll say animate shapes along a path. So now our car is attached to the path. We can make this a little thinner. And we can say align the shape with the path. And we'll go to the animator and in the animator we'll set it to be five seconds. And at five seconds we'll have the car run all the way through the track. So then back at the animator, as we move the time slider, it interpolates the animation along the path. Additionally, we can go ahead and select to attach an action to this uh, uh, animation shape. And we'll choose a pause action, and we'll just say on click, pause the animation. So with just that, we'll go ahead and save this to the database and we'll say preview in a browser. And this will bring up our browser. It'll load the applet. And then we see our car driving around the path. And if we click on it, if we can catch it, it stops. If we click on it again, it starts. So in conclusion, we've just shown how to create the JavaFX puzzlers visually with Databox.